Hello folks, I'm back. Uh, this is like part two of a video I did before comparing my lightweight commander with my brand new Kimber Super Carry Ultra. Uh, I, w I was going to compare it with my Glock 30, which is another 45 caliber pistol, but I'm, not, I'm going to spare you that because you, I can be doing comparisons and you've seen other comparisons between firearms on YouTube all the time. So what I wanted to show you was I was at the range. I didn't have a lot of time to spend at the range. Uh, it was near closing time, so I only had a box of 50 rounds. Uh, the first target, you, uh, it's not on here, but the first target was basically I shot real fast, you know, and just in this area, the pattern was just pretty much around here. Uh, pretty accurate at 25 yards, just at rapid fire, and it was the same in this area. I consider myself an average shooter, so I didn't, like I said, I really didn't take my time taking any shots with this at 25 yards. Uh, what I did was, on this second round, which is the paper you see now, with the target paper you see now, uh, I just took a little more time, and at 25 yards, I've... Got some decent uh, accuracy shots. A lot of that, I'm going to say again, is uh, basically human error. It could have, my groups are usually a little tighter, but basically this is human error. Uh, I'm not by no means a Bruce Pyatt or Mike McCormick or somebody like that, but I do well enough to qualify and so forth. Well, as you see, at 25 yards, the pattern is pretty well. I had to get adjusted a little bit to the sights because, unfortunately, sometimes I can shoot low. So the sight picture is not bad, but once you start figuring out where the sweet spot is, you can get a little more accurate shots like, like within the bullseye area here. Same thing up top with the headshot area. Uh... Once you get used to your sight picture, you will be able to get decent shots centering where you need it to be at the bullseye. Uh, like I said before, this firearm is a very nice firearm, very accurate firearm in capable hands. I don't know if you can see it uh, or not. Right now, this firearm is very dirty at this point because I did not get a chance to clean it. Uh, one thing interesting is... a. Uh, what I like about what the Kimber Company has done, I'm going to let eject this magazine out. Originally, when you uh, when you get your Kimber, it does not have this magazine uh, bump stop at the bottom. So when you eject it, it hits the ground, and that way it doesn't it prevents a little bit of damage when it helps. And as you saw, it protrudes out the bottom a little bit here in in the magazine well here. But each Kimber comes with two different bump stops at the bottom. I have the smaller one in because I want to use it as a concealed carry. But they do have a thick, a, a thicker one. It's probably about uh, about double the size of this, which will make it probably roughly about a full inch. But I decided to put those on. Uh, makes the gun look a little bigger, better. But however, some people might not like these on here because they're afraid that... If they're concealed carrying, it might snag or whatever the case may be. But I pretty much like it. So I'm going to pop that back in there real quick. Let you see what it looks like. Again, at the bottom. And this is furnished by Kimber. The, this is actually a part that they give to you. Give They let you have the option of putting that on the bottom or, or not. Like I said, it, it is dirty. What I like about this is... If it was clean, you would see that this ramp is po is pretty much polished. But right now, like I said, it's a dirty gun. If you look at the ramp here, it kind of the first time I ever saw a ramp like this was on the Glocks. But I like the fact that there is a ramp and it should aid in helping the round as it's being extracted from the magazine to feed very well. So that's what I pretty much like about this particular barrel design. Uh, another thing about this, uh, if you notice on a lot of other 1911s, maybe on your, pretty much your 
Colts, you'll probably see like an extractor on the outside. This has an internal extractor that's inside. I can't get, uh, it's not broken down for you to see it very well, but it is an internal ex in extractor. Uh, other than that, this gun really fired flawlessly. Fired flawlessly, no hiccups, no problems, or anything of that nature. Uh, the only thing I wish I had was a little more time at the range and maybe in my next video I will be able to do uh, some live showing you this uh, live shooting of this particular firearm and like I said for 25 yards I'm pretty much pleased with it on even though I only got 50 rounds which was not enough time and I was rushing but it did its purpose. The purpose was to hit the target at 25 yards. And uh, hopefully uh, this will encourage you to even take a look at this gun or to look at uh, other guns in the Kimber line, especially uh, they have other compacts that I really like in the line, but I'm really pleased with this gun. This is the Super Carry Ultra. I'm really pleased with it. And... Uh, Happy shooting. Take care, folks.